Hi, I'm Andrew, and I'm a Customer Experience Assistant at Aberdeen Science Centre. Aberdeen Science Centre aims to inspire a lifelong interest in science by creating engaging experiences. The centre has recently undergone a £6 million transformation. Let's take a look around. I got into science communication because after school I tried university and at that point in my life it wasn't quite what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do science and I knew I really enjoyed doing shows. I wanted to find something that combined the two if at all possible. And that led me to science communication where I can talk about science to large groups of people in different forms of audience and I can get people excited about science. If you want to get into science communication, the sorts of skills you need are, first of all, enthusiasm and passion. And that needs to be visible. It needs to come across. You need to be able to speak to someone and get them interested in something you're interested as well. You also need a genuine interest in science. Now, that might seem like something rather specific, but actually, if you look for it, there is science everywhere. Once you get into something and how it works, why things happen, that's science. So if you can find something that you find really, really interesting and you can explain to other people and get them excited too, that's the main skill. That's what you need. The thing that I love most about my job is when I can explain something that is new to a visitor that they did not know and they are amazed by it. And what it then does is provokes lots of questions which they then start asking me, which means it leads to a discussion and it's not just a single fact, but it's a whole new idea or concept that I've managed to bring to them. The only reason that this job could ever get boring is if you just lose the passion for it. What I mean by that is if you run out of ways to explain something that you find interesting to someone else, then yeah, I guess that would be boring. Or if you are just, you know, get tired of speaking to people, yeah, it could. But as long as you can find some way to bring your passion across and you're constantly finding out new things that make you go, wow, that's really cool. And there are plenty of ways to do that then no, it's never boring. I spend a very short space of time in the office at work. Most of my time is out on the exhibition floor, speaking to our visitors, dealing with birthday parties, with schools, with community groups. When you explain a new concept and you start to see a little brain, you know, working away, realizing something that they had never known before and they get excited, it's so cool. You don't know what you've done there. You could have inspired someone to become a doctor and then they may end up saving someone's life, you know, later down the line. You might have inspired someone to invent something which is going to revolutionize the future. Basically, you set up a huge new generation for people to go out and do amazing things. There are lots of reasons why someone would want to work in this industry. First of all, if you're interested in science, you get to talk about it every single day. And there are so many different aspects of science, so it's not going to be the same thing every day. Also, you get to work with children. Some people say you shouldn't work with children. I disagree. They end up coming up with all sorts of different fun ideas and will test your ability to improvise and think on the spot. And if you're good at it, you'll have a great time. Third of all, you get to speak to loads and loads of people. For a lot of people, standing in front of an audience and talking about a subject is tough. But if you're good at it, you can really learn to love it and it becomes something that you can't wait to do every day. That's how I feel. Loads of different scientific organizations need representatives to go out and speak to people about why their aspect of science is really important. There are lots of opportunities in the wider industry. 
Science centres need all sorts of different types of people, and in fact, we offer opportunities to volunteer here. What it means is you get a taste for what it's like, you get to try out some of your skills and abilities before you take on the responsibility of a full job. It's a great way to get started. Science centres are popping up in other countries as well all across the world. People are desperate to talk about science and that's so important and so encouraging as well. It allows us to do so many things. We see astronauts on the International Space Station and they're talking about science to everyone down on Earth. That's science communication. When you see a nature documentary, that's science communication. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's really exciting. I want it to continue to grow and the way it grows is by you guys getting involved as well.